In this video, I'm going to be going over my experience on Sword Burst 3 and whether or not it's a good game because that's probably why you clicked on this video. Let's get straight into the video, man. All right, y'all. So starting off with warping from place to place is actually pretty unique and I really mess with this so you don't have to run around every single floor, run around and just not even know where to go and have to ask people in the chat. So that is a plus for this game. And there's a lot of content. The game literally just released today at the time of this video being made. And it literally has two floors already and so much content, so many items. And I love that they reused specific swords that we love from Sword Burst 1 and Sword Burst 2, guys. You guys already know that I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm actually addicted to this game. Me and my friends played for about four or five hours straight, bro, and lost track of time. And honestly, I think it's just the nostalgia from playing Sword Burst 1 and Sword Burst 2. But this game actually is cooking. I mean, there is a lot of stuff that I could downplay. But overall, the game is definitely, I would say, like an 8 out of 10 comparing it to the other Sword Burst and like i said it just released guys so we can't expect way too much from just the jump and they're obviously going to go ahead and fix all the problems that people are talking about in most youtube videos that i have seen but overall the game is really actually good bro that i love about the sword burst community or the sword burst devs is that a level 27 sword could be worse than a level 25 sword because one of the sword is a legendary and the other one is an uncommon and in the beginning on the first floor we weren't seeing too much of that and i was getting worried i was like what is the point of upgrading anything if all you have to do is play another 20 minutes and just get a better sword two levels higher but now that we are on floor two you actually can go ahead and see a difference without upgrades and stuff and the drop rates are honestly not that bad so guys, to wrap it up, I'm going to go ahead and say don't knock Sword Burst 3 until you try it, guys. But if you enjoyed this video and would love to see more content just like this, make sure to smash that like button. Or if I made you laugh, subscribe to the channel, guys. I'm going to catch you on the next one. As always, it's Yelixo. Peace.